Let's get started. Hey. Hi, everybody. Hello. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm really excited. Uh, this is a uh, bigger turnout than we expected. And we're super excited to uh, share this talk with all of you. Um, please help yourself to the snacks and drinks in the back. There's a cooler. On the table, there are also free stickers. Yes, stickers are free, and yeah, if you stick around until the end, uh, uh, several of us have brought books uh, and zines and maybe prints available for purchase. So just uh, you'll figure out who we all are uh, throughout the course of the afternoon, and you can just come up to whoever uh, you want to buy a book from. We'll be hovering around that area most likely since that's where the snacks are. Um, just in case you didn't already know. This is an event being sponsored by the Friends of the Public Library, uh, sorry, Friends of the San Francisco Public Library, which is the nonprofit that is dedicated to supporting the entire SFPL system. Uh, I'm Sam Santos Julian. I'm Lindsay Smith. And we are both from different cohorts of the Brown Handler Writers Residency, a program dedicated to providing a productive writing environment and community support to local San Francisco. Yeah, it's a great program, and actually applications for the residency are currently open, so if you're a writer, uh, please consider applying to the 2024 cohort of the Brown Handler Residency, uh, info online. Yeah, the residency gives uh, working writers in San Francisco office space for one year, and I think we can both attest to the fact that it is transformative. Um, so apply, tell your writer friends to apply, spread the word. All genres, welcome. Um, and as part of the residency, residents are asked to give back to the community by organizing an event. Um, Sam and I have known each other a long time, and we decided to combine our powers and do something together. Now, uh, we're working on two very different projects. I'm a long-form narrative journalist. Uh, and I'm writing a sci-fi comic. Uh, we decided to find the intersection between our subject matter and found our way here. Uh, we've been fortunate enough to find uh, a number of enthusiastic speakers uh, who also spend their days in this space at the intersection of climate change and emotion. Among them are Connor Price at the end of the table, Madeline Klein, and Cole Lubman, who work at the Aquarium of the Bay on Pier 39. The Aquarium is part of the Bay Ecotarium, a nonprofit organization and the largest watershed conservation organization in San Francisco. Uh, we're also honored to have Tiffany Yap here, Dr. Tiffany Yap, who works at the Center for Biological Diversity, a nonprofit organization that empowers experts in science, law, and creative media to secure the future of our planet's biodiversity through a focus on protecting the lands, waters, and climate that species need to survive. Additionally, we welcome Natal Smith joining us remotely, the cartoonist and designer who co created Tales of the Urban Wild with Tiffany, which is for sale back there. Yeah. Uh, and finally, uh, Dr. Dennis Staff, a science communicator and marine biologist who has authored several award-winning books about nature for readers of all ages. Every one of the scientists and writers who will be speaking today cares deeply about our planet and is concerned about the ongoing threat posed by human-created climate change. And for all of us, empathy plays a role, either motivating our work or as a key component of what we produce. We hope that by sharing uh, the way we approach and think about empathy in the context of climate change uh, will help you leave here today with a stronger sense of our community uh, in the Bay Area and feel motivated to compassionately engage with the challenge of climate change in your own life.